Rake demo for project management. Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how you can use Rake.com for your project management and if it is something that you should opt for in terms of your general management needs. So let's get into it. First off, we are on Rake.com and this is their homepage. And to get started on Rake, you're just going to enter your email over here and start your free trial on Rike. So Rike also does have a free version as well. And moving on to their prices and uh, plans that they offer, they have a free version and then they have two paid versions and the enterprise version for a large team. So in terms of the features that they provide, the free version you can have unlimited users so that is something that i really love about rike is you can add as many people as you want even on the free version you have your desktop app you have your mobile app as well and you get a personal ai work intelligence you get tasks subtasks you get live activity streams across your project and task levels at different task levels you get live activity streams and you also get external and internal collaborators so if you're a contractor working within a team so you can also get a different view in terms of the level of verification that you have you also have interactive boards and spreadsheet views you get account-wide work schedules you get some you get two gigabytes of storage space per account and you also have cloud storage integrations available now in the professional version which starts at almost ten dollars per user per month you get all of these features you get shareable dashboards you get interactive gantt charts you get productivity integrations and you get one to two gb per user storage space on Rike as well and on the business version which starts at 25 dollars a month for each user you get custom fields custom workflows branded workspace automation engine so automation is a function that is very useful especially now when you're running a very large company you don't have the time to work on each individual thing and if your business is a large business automation is going to function as an integral part so that is something to keep in mind that you're only going to get automation in the business version and not on the first two versions of Rike. Now, moving on, you also get workload charts, effort and time allocation, extensions for Adobe Creative Cloud, file and video proofing, you get user groups and permissions, Salesforce integration, and you get five gigabytes of storage per user. And also, you know, resource management, real-time reporting, request forms and calendars, personal and account-wide work schedules, and all of that. And after that, if you still need anything more from your project management software, you can always contact reg.com and negotiate a enterprise version for your team. Now, going back to our Rike account, I'm just going to verify my account and we are going to get into the workflow that workflow space or the dashboard that Rike provides. So I'll get back to you guys in a second. Now over here you can see once you have verified your email and put in your personal details like your phone number and your email address, your real name and business email, you're going to start off with a general information tab and they're going to ask you what kind of project you're trying to run or manage on the software. You can choose to answer these or you can just move on ahead. I'm going to answer these. I want to run a sales project and I have around 25 to 30 and you can also add your teammates as you go i'm going to skip that for now and now our Rike dashboard is being created so now you can see this is the first platform you're going to see on Rike, and they are going to offer you a few templates if you want so if you want to get started off with your management by using templates you can use any of their templates that are available according to your category that you're working in so if you're service working in uh, operations you can select the operations template if you're working in engineering you can select a engineering template and what this does it's going to massively reduce the amount of setting up time so your first initial learning curve is going to be reduced if you use a template and i'm going to actually show you guys the different properties that you can avail on rike using one of their templates so let's just say we want a project with dependencies you can also preview any of the templates that you like and you can see over here we have created our template they offer you a video to get started Started. Now, this is your profile dashboard and within it, you have your spaces. So any of the spaces that you are working in or a part of are going to be over here. And then you can have your recent over here. So anything that you've previously just opened and anything you've pinned. So it's very helpful that you pin your important things together 
and so you can get their view without having to enter any of their spaces so if i pin something from personal or projects with dependencies or my team workspace i can view it on my profile and that's going to make my workflow a lot easier on the left you have your general menu you have your inbox and then you have your home page and moving on to our template that we have just created so you can see this is the empty template that we have created and if we look at its little page you can see at the top you have your different views after that if you click on this plus icon you can add more views according to your needs so if you are working in a time crunch you might want to add a time log or you can even create a custom view so you can select what kind of view you want maybe you want a table view and you can rename it and you can customize it so just say table one you can make it public and like so you're going to have a new view available for you and you can change it up as you like and you can even make this a private view that only you can see now i'm just going to delete this moving back to their list view their list view is pretty standard in terms of their general look and then you have your board view like so so if you're working on a project and the kickoff is in progress so you can just move the kickoff over there you can move the preparation to complete it as soon as tasks move forward you can just move them like so and have them at different progression levels so this is going to help you monitor the general workflow now in terms of usability i think the right platform is very neat and that's why i really do like it because it, it isn't as bright or as colorful as some of the other project management softwares and i think that really does work in the favor of Rike because a lot of times those can be a bit confusing and difficult to work with. Now you can see on our tools in Project with Dependencies, we can see all our unassigned projects over here. You can see everything that is due within this week, anything that is overdue, and everything that has been completed. So if you're a manager or someone that is just monitoring the work, you can just go into the tools and view the general workflow without having to enter the workspace. And over here, you can even add a new widget. So active task bias signee or if you want to monitor that tasks that are only assigned to you you can do that you can do that as well if you are currently working from home so you're working remotely you can add a to do this week or this day so you can see everything that is happening within the day as well and if you're working with a separate client and you're on a contract base you can also help this become the client dashboard so they can monitor the work from here without having to actually enter the workspace over here now you can see we have this list within list of our all our tasks and to add a task we just click over here you can enter the tasks just like this and you can set a start date or a due date for your task as well and over here you have a map or a timeline view of your events or your tasks so you can easily move the due dates of your tasks like this and that is very helpful so if you want to expand this you can do this and now you can view all of the projects or all of the tasks that are happening and you can get a good view of everything another thing that is very good about this is in terms of dependencies you can see when the kickoff happens then you have a arrow that leads to the development and you can add these by clicking on these dots you can expand the time for any of the projects as well so that if the review is taking long you can extend it and then you can move the ending like so without having to write down the dates so if i was to do this now if i want to add this ending and connect it to the review so right now you can see they're separated and if i want to connect these both you can see these dots i'm just going to do a left click and i'm going to hold the left click and then i'm going to join it to review and now you can see our review and ending have been joined and all of this is going to be a automated process as well so if things are on kickoff you're gonna once the kickoff has been completed the timeline for kickoff has been completed it's automatically gonna move on to development and then launch and so on and so forth now if you want to export this data to any other platform you can do that in over over here and you can export all of your data into excel and if you want to import some of your data from excel or ms project you can also do it from over here at the top right from these three dots and besides that you also have a project information tab that is going to allow you to view all of the information within this project 
and this is a template so obviously everything is very detailed but in general to get a summary of the entire workspace you can click on this and get that as well and you can close that like so and you can also see how many people this workspace is being shared with and you can add more people as you go now if we were to move back to our personal workspace you can see personal workspaces are going to only have the tasks that are assigned to you anything that is assigned to you you can view it over here and if there's anything that is important you can make a star and view it in your star tasks so if i was to go back into my general workspace and assign stuff to myself let's just say we're going to add a title so let's just say jane's tasks and then we're going to add some new tasks within this and i'm going to assign this to myself like so i'm going to close this i'm going to add another one and now i'm going to assign this to myself as well and if i go back into my personal view you can see over here in my to-do list i have my tasks and i also get a small icon of which workspace these tasks are from so this view is very helpful if you just wake up in the morning and you need to get a hang of what you should get started on and what kind of work you should start off your day with what are the things that are totally dependent on you so you can get started on these tasks first and then move on to the general workspace and start working over there this is really going to optimize your your efficiency and the amount of work you do in specific time because you're going to be more efficient with your time and you're going to be able to manage it much better now if you want to log out you can do it from the top right over here and you have your general workspace themes from here as well you can change the general look of your workspace according to your personal liking and it's not totally customizable so you have a few templates but you can only choose from these and you can't choose it and make it you know pink or you can't make it bright blue or anything like that you have to choose within these limited themes i think that's a good thing as well because excessive customization is now available on most project management softwares and usually you don't have the time to actually do that or look into that now over here you also have your apps and integrations and you can add a bunch of different integrations on reich.com all of the basic integrations are available for example, you have Rike for MS Team, you have Jira Project Sync, you have Slack, you have Gmail, you have Office Timeline, you have Outlook, G Suite, Asana. For e-commerce, you also have Equid, you have Shopify, and there's so much more you can add. So any of the basic ones or the popular ones you're going to be able to find in the Rike directory. Now, this was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful and you're now able to create your Rike account and start managing your projects on Rike. And I will catch you guys in the next video.